Welcome to Inspired Block Printing. Now something that I love doing is designing my own fabric. When you make an object, yes, it's very lovely. However, to make it even lovelier, if you go back to square one and design the fabric yourself by printing it yourself, it gives that piece of work an extra depth, an extra special element. So what I'd like to do today is teach you how to do block printing. Now I've invited my friend Fauzia and two of my younger friends, Rebecca and Lucy, along today to show you actually how simple and how easy it is to learn pattern theory. So let's get started with some block printing. Now to get started with rows, we need to get a little blob. I was going to suggest what you do is just join in while I'm doing this. You just get your fabric paint and you just squirt a sort of squidgen of fabric paint into the corner of your printing tray there. And when you've done that, you have your sponge and you get your block and you get a little bit of um, fabric paint onto your sponge and then you just literally dab your paint all over. Can I just show you one layer of paint like that? That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to literally cover the entire wooden block with paint so there's no gaps. Also you don't want great splodges and that's why a sponge is a very good idea for this. And because we're going to be doing rows, I like to generally start in the middle and push the block down with my hands just like this. Can you see? Just start, go to the middle, push your hands down and then when you peel the block off you end up with a very clear, crisp image, which I think really is just lovely. And that's the first step of your fabric design. Again, just to finish off this last bit of fabric paint, I'm dragging that last bit in, and now I'm making the darker colour. So we're using up all that fabric paint, mixing it up, and again, I'm going to pick up the same block, and I'm going to apply the paint in the same way now, I would say that perhaps this possibly wasn't the greatest contrast, but it doesn't really matter. It's still quite stunning. Um, and you just, can I just show you how beautiful that is? Can you see how the eye wants to kind of go into the fabric to see the background images? You've now created a fabulous stash of beautiful fabrics that are totally unique, that do not exist anywhere in the world. Now, the question is what are you going to do with these pieces of fabric? Well, something that every woman always can never have too many of is bags. And you can see from this space dyed piece of fabric, we've block printed the purple over in rows and that really works well. Have a look at that, Rebecca, and have a see what you think. So you can create a number of different types of bags. Have a look at this one as well, Valzia. I do have to say I have particularly enjoyed the freestyle technique because there's no hard and fast rules and literally every piece you do is totally original. Have you any ideas what you're going to do with your piece of fabric? Oh. Mm. You have to think about that I one, will. won't you? Maybe Pat put it in, make it into an apron. That'd be lovely. <laughs> well, another thing that we love to do are tea cosies. Tea cosies lend themselves so beautifully to block printing. Have a closer look at that and see if you can identify which particular block printing technique we use for what. I mean, obviously, Lucy, can you identify which uh, technique was used for this tea cosy? Um, You've forgotten? Yeah. Uh, block on block. So that's okay. Uh, yeah. You've taken in a lot. It's been fantastic. So have a closer look at that. Now, um, the other thing that we created uh, was some serendipity cloth. If you remember when we were cleaning our sponges and our blocks, we had paint that would have otherwise gone down the sink and we wiped them onto some white fabric. Now we've actually ironed these up so they're heat fixed, they will stay permanent and something that we just knocked up in oh, no time at all was a peg bag. So you can see this peg bag, always very useful, made from some serendipity cloth and the back has been left plain with no block printing at all and we've just used a single row at the front and that really, really works well, doesn't it? So you've just had a taster of our workshop and we hope you've enjoyed it. If you too have been inspired, watch our website on colorissues.com and there you'll be able to buy your own DVD.